Chef Ramsay came to America with a mission to create master chefs and launch careers. Season one winner Michael Ray now runs his own restaurant, Tattoo, in Los Angeles. In season two, Heather West rose to the top of the pack and is now running the Terra Rosa restaurant at the Red Rock Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. This year, 12 aspiring chefs from all walks of life Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Entered Hell's Kitchen with their own dreams of running a restaurant. Open! But failed miserably in Chef Ramsay's first test. You serve me frozen gnocchi. Then he set the women against the men in the battle of the sexes. We are going to take the boys to school. Even before the doors opened, the pressure got to Aaron. I'm cracking up right now. Stop fucking crying. And set the scene for a disastrous first dinner service. What is going on? The women spent more time arguing. I hear you. Than cooking. I'll tell you Why are you pushing me? Stop! Earning them a memorable nickname. Hell's bitches. Tiffany, you've got to go. The kitchen manager from Arizona was the first to leave Hell's Kitchen. In week two. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yes, yes chef. At the first challenge, in the women cleaned up. No more Hell's bitches. And were rewarded with an outing with Chef Ramsay. They're all capable. We got Chef Ramsay to ourselves. That's priceless. Then, at dinner service, Eddie was in the hot seat all night. It's way too peppery, and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Which made Chef Ramsay's decision an easy one. Eddie. Yes, sir. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. In week three, it was back to basic training. I love mini uniform. And Hell's Kitchen served a military breakfast. And the Waffle House chef... Julia, take control. Come on. Let's rock it out, ladies. ...was in her element, leading the red team to another victory. We won again. The blue team's punishment... Don't act like a bunch of girls. ...caused Aaron to hit rock bottom. Aaron! Oh, shit. And leave Hell's Kitchen. Let's get them out here now. For good. You have a serious illness. At dinner service, Rock emerged as a leader. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you. Rock knows he's the leader. While in the red kitchen, Jen's judgment was bad. Where'd you get it from? The garbage on top? Oh, no, no, no. No way. And Joanna's was rotten. It's rancid! You kill someone! And it was Joanna who left Hell's Kitchen. Take your jacket off. For good. In week four, Bonnie's excellent palate. It tastes like the end of the bok choy, chef. One professional chef and one fucking nanny. Led the red team to win their third consecutive challenge. She could hear There's way too many conspiracy theories in this kitchen right now. The blue team's punishment left a bad taste in their mouth. Here's your barf bag. Then, at dinner service. You're saying yes all the fucking time, yet nothing's done! Bonnie's impressive palate didn't help her on the line. I'm just not cut out to be here. I want to go home. And Vinny's incompetence on the meat station. Wait 15 God. minutes. What? Got him sent home. Vinny, you've peaked. Week five brought a Hell's Kitchen first. We are catering for a wedding reception. Melissa appointed herself dictator of the red team. You're supposed to listen to me, not Bonnie. Excuse me? Turning them against her. I may have to strangle her with some chiffon. Then, at the wedding reception dinner, Melissa crashed and burned. Now stop being a stubborn little bitch and fucking move your ass. And at the elimination... Melissa, give me your jacket. Thank God. You, madam, are going in the men's team. She might beat out Josh, but she ain't beating out me. Melissa, this is your very last chance. In week six, Chef Ramsay challenged the new team to get creative with lobsters. Chef, I hate killing lobsters. I cry every time. So do the lobsters. <laughs> and the red team's narrow victory... Red team. ...sent Rock into a rage. Bullshit. I'm pissed off. That was the dumbest fucking decision I've seen. That was bullshit. The women were rewarded with a photo shoot for In Touch magazine. Just watch where you're rolling that pizza cutter. <laughs> At dinner service, Melissa once again came under fire from Chef Ramsay. The fucking gremlin. Everything she touches, she screws. Sorry, guys. Fuck off. And he didn't hesitate at the elimination. Cut the crap. Melissa, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. In week seven, with Melissa gone, the men regained their footing and won the leftover challenge. Men, well done. Thank you, sir. And a chance to get some revenge on Chef Ramsay. At dinner service, it was red menu versus blue menu. Buddy, yes, chef. you're cooking and your fucking gas is not even on. Both teams struggled to deliver. 
Brad, come here. Looks like baby vomit. Leading to Bonnie and Brad's nomination. Some people, you know, kind of wait in the wins, or everybody else kind of just... Say my name. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say Rob. Chef Ramsay had heard enough. Bonnie, wake up. Brad, take your jacket off. And to Bonnie's surprise, the experienced sous chef was sent home. I still think I'm the best. In week eight, the aspiring chefs tried to win over high school students. Sell that dish! Vote green. Remember, pink is nice. Don't vote for her. And the winner of the first individual challenge was... Julia! Ah! And she chose Jen to share her Las Vegas reward. Cheers, my dear. Oh my god, we're in freaking Vegas, baby! Then, at dinner, Josh struggled. How many fucking risottos are you doing up front? And struggled. We cooked spaghetti to order! Until Chef Ramsay couldn't take any more. Oh, yes, chef. Take that off and fuck it up out of here! You fucking used to suck as shit! Get out! With Josh gone, Bonnie had her best service ever. Wellington's nicely cooked. Thank you, you, Chef. While Julia had her worst. Where is the garnish? I had Thank to redo you. it. OK, but don't give up. And had to say goodbye. Julia, take off your jacket. There's something quite amazing about you. I am personally going to send you to culinary school. I am very proud of you. Thank you. I don't want to go home. Last week, Chef Ramsay challenged them to turn comfort foods into gourmet dishes. Beans and franks? And called in some special guest judges. Ladies, please. <gasps> Your mums are here. The moms were unanimous. Jen, well done. <laughs> and Jen got to spend the day shopping with her biggest fan. Holy cake pan! <laughs> Ooh. Then, before dinner... Each and every one of you will be running the pass. Chef Ramsay gave them a trial run. It's raw. I have given you every opportunity to get back on track, and you keep fucking it up. Bloody hell. And then they had to do it for real. Scott, what happened to the ham? Oh, sorry, Chef. Nobody Good. told me. The skin isn't crispy. Bonnie and Rock passed with flying colors. Table 40, servers, please. Stop. But Jen's quality control was under par. Because what the fuck are you doing? Jen. Take your jacket off. You cook on my teeth. You have nothing to feel ashamed about. And the final three. Well done, my darling. Became two. Congratulations. You are the finalist in Hell's Kitchen. And were surprised with a visit from their families. <laughs> Tonight. Your biggest challenge is about to start. Who will prove they have what it takes to run a restaurant in the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas? Will it be Rock, the professional chef from Virginia? I need to win. This is the biggest moment in my career. Everything that I do right now is for my family. Or Bonnie, the personal chef and nanny from Los Angeles. I'm on the eve of the biggest day of my entire life. I've prepared as much as I can prepare for this. The finale begins tonight. Now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Bonnie and Rock, two seconds, please. You both have come a very, very long way. You so deserve to be here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chef. But now, your biggest challenge lies ahead of you. Rock, this now becomes your restaurant. You'll be cooking out of the blue kitchen. I'm just like, wow, this is real. This is it. This is the final. Bonnie, this area here has now become your restaurant, and you're cooking out of the red kitchen. OK. Yes? I'm not a heart attack, yeah. <laughs> I have a half of a restaurant. This competition has the power to change my whole life. You're one step away from becoming the head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort 
in Vegas. God. But now, I think you deserve to spend time with your families. And Rock, this wouldn't be such an event without your children. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, baby Rock. <laughs> Come here. Look. There you go. Oh, come here. <laughs> now enjoy the rest of the time. That was beautiful, you know. Ah, it hit me right here. See, I had it here for my good luck. Who was that? Me. And who was that? <laughs> I had my good luck charm, and they appeared. I'm a little soldier. I'm a little princess. Everything that I do right now is for my family. You miss your daddy? You give my mommy a hard time? Yes. I can't believe this is happening. Everybody is so proud of you. Oh, to see them, to hug them. I'm so happy <laughs> to see you guys. It was just so great for them to share in this with me. Because my dad's always been my biggest fan. You must have done a fantastic job. Say good night, guys. Can, can, is she allowed to come with, to the dorm? <laughs> is she allowed to come? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye -bye, Dad. Sweetie. I love you. Love you too. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Ronnie and Rock. Tonight, both of you, when you go back to the dorms, start imagining your restaurant, the fabrics, the atmosphere, the chairs, the glasses, the menu. Start creating what you think is gonna make you win Hell's Kitchen. You've got some serious, serious planning to do. Good night. <laughs> You're gonna sleep well. Thanks, Chef. Oh, my God. Back in the dorms, the finalists put the competition aside to celebrate together. Congratulations! That is <laughs> off the hook! Oh, my God. I can't... Oh, my God. I have come a long way, and I, I do have a gift, and I think Rock's not gonna know what hit him. I'm here. You here. <laughs> Chef Ramsey told us it's about work right now, but tonight, I was just like, we need to take time to celebrate, and you know, just like, wow, just marvel at yourself. When we first came in, I said, it's gonna be me and Melissa in the finals. People don't take me seriously, and it's enabled me to kind of slide beneath the radar. And then when they realize that I'm a force to be reckoned with, it's too late. It's too late? You yeah. think it's too late for me? Uh-huh. Homegirl is smart. I didn't think she'd make it this far. I think she's dangerous, and I could lose to her. You're going to beat me, too. I'm going to win this thing. I'm determined. And I want to beat Rock. The whole thing is setting up, so I lose to a fucking nanny. With the dining room split down the middle, Rock and Bonnie each get a side to transform into the restaurant of their dreams. I'm just excited that half of the restaurant is mine. It's like being given a life-size dollhouse and a charge card and just saying, go. It's amazing. I feel great. I feel like I'm on, almost on top of the world. This is the next step in life for me and there's nothing, nothing that's gonna stop me from winning. With only 36 hours to create their restaurants, Rock and Bonnie meet with Hell's Kitchen architect and designer, John Janovs. So, Bonnie, tell me what your vision of your restaurant really is. I, I want it to be very European style. I wanna have a you know slightly romantic feel. I love simple, classic, but with a twist. I want wood floors, hardwood floors. I hate booths. I don't know if we can get rid of the booths. I definitely want to keep the booths. I think that's something that I, I'd like in the contemporary, make you feel at home, warm, American, Southern. I like conformity. I don't want everything to be uniform and, and matching. I want it to be more fun, you know, more eclectic. I was even thinking of going as far as, like, mismatch China. Classical silverware, nice and simple and to the point. Accents of color. Black and white because everything can go off of that. I think we have enough to get started with right now. We've got an awful lot of work ahead of us, and I have got to get going on it. Okay. With a plan started for the dining rooms, Jean-Philippe will now help the finalists create a look for the waitstaff. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Voila. What type of restaurants you want to run? Uh, tell me. Um, 
I love seeing servers all in black. All in black? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, trousers, black. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Choco. Uh, I was thinking at first it was jeans. You know, when I was talking to Jean-Philippe, he had this sort of regal, like, you know, like a French poodle. To be honest with you, I don't really see a jeans working in, 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 in any restaurant. Yeah. Uh, besides the saloon. So we're passing on the jeans? Yes. Good. Um, pants, you like them tight? You like them slightly wide? I'd say more fitting for the girls. That's cool. All girls want to look feminine and, you know, kind of sexy. I want them to look good and, and I want them to be happy to be there. Good, so it works for you? Yes. Good. As construction begins, Bonnie works with sous chef Marianne to create her menu, and sous chef Scott helps rock. Hey, Bonnie, come here. I want to hug. Oh, God. Hug it out. All right. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I'm excited make a menu. OK. I'll just go down my list. And I don't know if I can use this as an appetizer, but I thought it'd be cute to do little mini grilled cheeses with like a tiny little um, tomato soup. I think Everyone that's in. awesome. Everything on my menu is going to be something that is a favorite of mine. I love prosciutto. I love cheese. I love homemade pastas. Because they're all reflections of who I am. I just feel like yeah. a kid in a candy store. I want to do it all. While Bonnie has a clear vision for her menu, Rock is still trying to work things out. Um, I'll just start with my signature fried chicken and crab cake. Tell me more about because this is really important. Uh, I feel unprepared for creating the whole thing. It's a little nerve wracking. You know, how am I going to do this? So yeah, my mind starts racing. I haven't narrowed anything down. Uh, so what are you thinking? Uh, um, what do you consider to be like your favorite dish on here? This linguine pasta that I do every time I have people over for dinner, I have everyone make the pasta with me, and then I make the sauce that's become like Bonnie sauce. I think that's awesome. I really like that. Wow, I have a menu. Rock and Bonnie monitor the progress on their restaurants, but Chef Ramsay has other plans for them. What have you done to my beautiful restaurant? Change it up a little bit. Oh my God, what have you done? It's not your restaurant anymore, Chef. I know, I know, I know, I know. It'll look better as a matter of yeah. Fact. OK, there is some other very important business we need to take care of. We're going to Vegas. Woo! Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, really serious. Oh, yeah! I'll see you guys in five minutes. <laughs> Vegas represents my future home, so I'm really excited. I'm going to Vegas, baby! <laughs> I'm psyched to go to Vegas. The prize is so, is so close, I can smell it. You look okay? When I look good, you look good. Get over yourself, punk. Chef Ramsay and the finalists head to the Green Valley Ranch Resort, where either Rock or Bonnie will soon be the head chef. Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't think it was flying commercial, did you? No, nah, not at all. Good. And Rock, I've never seen you so happy. <laughs> Why did you get so upset when you lost the challenge when you started having a hissy fit? I never had a hissy fit. You never had a hissy fit? You go everywhere and get a fucking... Lobster soup, originality, be creative. That was bullshit. I was pissed. Uh, you both have come a, such a long way. Bonnie, you, my dear, have surprised me the most. My first time in a kitchen with you, you couldn't even fry an egg. I was shaking. I broke the fucking yolks. Come on, please. I've had some tough nights in my life, but not over a fucking fried egg. Bro. If I asked you to do a signature dish again, you wouldn't ask me to taste bought in gnocchi, would you? Not at all. I'm excited you had time to make gnocchi. I, it was frozen. You served me frozen gnocchi. Bonnie, you've done phenomenally well to get where you have. What have you got left that I haven't seen so far? I have a lot of fire. You saw a glimpse of my fire when I got to yell at you. One more time, and you are out of this kitchen. Sorry. Get another pot on it. Get it going now. Bloody hell. Raw, you, you played the game from day one. Well, a little bit. A little bit. It's me now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you put Brad up in front of Josh? He was my biggest competition, so why not get rid of him? Some people, you know, kind of wait in the wings, or everybody else kind of just Say wait. my name. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say Rock. 
I thought I'd be politically correct about it. Oh, there ain't no politically correct. We trying to win a competition. Say my name. For you, this journey's been an amazing game of chess. Yes, very much. Everything I do is strategy. I came here to win. Anything else is a failure. Who's going to win? All I'll I say am. is, <laughs> may the best man win. Raw. The you... best woman. Look, it's going to be a highly competitive service. Oh, yeah. yeah. Without a shadow of doubt. Welcome Yay. to Vegas. We're here. Cool, huh? Oh my god! Look at the sign, look at the sign. Woo! <laughs> it's me and you. We're driving to Green Valley Ranch. We happen to look over and see this huge marquee. See, that makes it so much more real. This prize seems so far away, and now it's right in my face. Oh my god! <laughs> this is how I'm supposed to live, baby. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We'll become the head chef at our new restaurant. Will it be Rock from Spotsylvania, Virginia? <laughs> or Bonnie from Santa Monica, California? <laughs> Superstar chef Gordon Ramsay will decide who will get the opportunity of a lifetime here at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Oh my God! Me and Bonnie on the plasmas playing around the hotel. That was probably the best part I've seen so far. Before tomorrow's final dinner service, Rock and Bonnie are looking forward to a quiet evening with Chef Ramsay. Let's go have a little drink and relax. Come okay. through. There's a little bar through here, very quiet, and it's a sort of bit of a VIP lounge. In you go. Oh, my God! As soon as I walked out on that stage, I was just in shock. Wow. I felt like I was just given a surprise party. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the finalist of Hell's Kitchen. This is Bonnie. This is Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Bonnie and Rock. You are not here for a party. You know there's one more challenge, and this is it. Amongst all these individuals here are Vegas' best chefs. And they're here for one big reason, and that is to taste your signature dish. Oh so my God. you've both got 30 minutes. Scott and Marianne, please tell them away. Off you go. After a quick change of clothes, Bonnie and Rock begin their most important challenge. They will have 30 minutes to create a dish that represents their signature style. Rock is making his surf and turf fried chicken and crab cakes. It's very important to win this challenge. I took a chance with a combination that most people aren't accustomed to. I definitely think it's important to create your own identity when it comes to food. Bonnie is preparing her shrimp and lobster pasta. I think that pasta just represents me to the fullest. It's not the most sophisticated dish, but it is full of flavor. Bonnie, how you doing with all this pressure, man? It's a lot of pressure. Bring it on. OK, Rock Bonnie, just under five minutes to go, yes? Yes, sir. It's always harder when you're judged by people who've been in this industry longer than you. You want them to take you seriously. Let's go, Rock. Let's go, Bonnie. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Rock and Bonnie's signature dishes will now be evaluated by seven VIP judges. Whoever receives the most votes will win this challenge. OK, let's begin with our first judge, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Griffin, executive chef at Caesar's Palace. It's a rendition on fettuccine alfredo, and then I've got the Key West uh, shrimp on top there. Very tasty. Thank, Thank you. you. Chicken and a crab cake, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to say the uh, Key West shrimp with the fettuccine. One nil bunny! Yeah. Yes! The shrimp was perfect, perfectly cooked. OK, uh, our next judge, Gerald Chen, executive chef at the Mansion House at MGM. Oh. Right. Let's um, get down to business. Please, 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 please. I find fettuccine Alfredo a little bland, a little boring, so I thought just adding a little burn in there. I love spice. Stop trying to charm him, yes? <laughs> He's a chef. He doesn't do charm. <laughs> Bonnie was definitely trying to uh, charm the chefs. Everything she does is a strategy to, to help her win. Everything. 
This is very unique. I'm gonna have to go with rocks. With rock, lovely. Our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Anthony Caron, the executive chef of the Michael Mina Group. Thank you, Anthony. One by one, the most amazing chefs in Vegas are coming up to taste my food. I can't believe it. I'll start with rocks. Good, good, good. Everyone in the audience was like shouting Rock's name. And I was just like, oh my God, really? They don't like me? I want everyone to like me. <laughs> I would have to give it to the pasta. Lovely. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Good man. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, our next judge. Well, a fine gourmet. You all know him. The host of Lifestyles Rich and Famous. Please say hello to Robin Leach. How are you, Chef Gordon? Bully and Rob. Hi, how are you? Robin Leach, oh my god. I used to watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. He's a legend. Which one would you like to go first? I think I should tackle the tower. The first. tower. <laughs> tackle the tower. Okay, a, a man who loves his food. Well, you can see, uh, you know. That's a healthy appetite. 1,700 different restaurants around wow. the world. Wow. wow, 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 wow. Now, this man certainly knows his stuff. I'm intrigued by the challenge of the combination. Thank you. So, this is pasta and shrimp? Yes. It's a tough choice. Yeah, you. But you told me if I didn't make a choice, you put a cleaver in my back. <laughs> I have to give it to the lady. To the lady. <laughs> OK, that's three to Bonnie and one to Rock. With a score of three to one, Bonnie needs just one more vote to win the challenge. Our next guest um, is a very special one, the very first winner of Hell's Kitchen, Michael Ray. <laughs> I have to say, Michael's opening restaurant in Los Angeles called Tattoo. That's right. Excellent. You guys nervous? A little bit, yeah. Little bit. <laughs> You've been here before. Yeah, I know, I know. Fast with me. I'm down three to one. Stop trying to manipulate the judges, Rock. Rock's a good schmoozer, and, you know, he was trying to sell his dish. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go with the chicken. With the chicken? Bonnie is leading three to two. Rock must get the next vote, or he will lose this crucial challenge. Another very, very special guest, last year's winner of Hell's Kitchen, Heather. Congratulations. They're both fabulous. They Thank both you. are. Um, I gotta go with Rock. With Rock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw, 3-3. Three, three. With the score tied at three, it all comes down to the final vote. Welcome, our final guest judges, Bob Finch and Chris Ferno, the general manager and the executive chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Ah! It was crazy to see my possible future employers. I got really excited. Oh my God. You do realize that one of you are going to be working very closely with both these guys, yes? Bob and Chris, as you know, can only have one vote. Correct. That one vote will decide the winner of the last challenge. Which one you think for both of you? You're a southern guy, but I tell you what, I love my pasta. The general manager, I mean, it was hands down. As soon as he tasted mine, he was like, oh my god. The pasta's very good. I don't know if it's going real good on this. The chef was going for my fried chicken and crab. I saw him. He pointed to it like twice. Bob and Chris, please, which okay. of these two dishes okay. do you prefer? That one vote will decide the winner of the last challenge. Here's where the decision goes. Going with Barney. The winner, Bonnie! Excellent. Going into this, I felt like I was the underdog, but you know, I won the challenge tonight. That definitely gave me a confidence boost, and I think it may have hurt Rock's confidence just a little bit. And congratulations for Rock! It's over, but it's not over. All along, I've always said I'd rather win a service than I would a challenge. I'll uh, explain what your reward is later. Uh, now, both of you, I really do need to spend some serious, serious quiet time together. Let's go. We still love you, Rock. Thanks, I love you all too. Thank you.
Overlooking the city that will soon be home to one of these two finalists, Chef Ramsay has some encouraging words. Well done. Thank you. Seriously well done. Ah, thank you, Chef. Look where we are. Look at it. Extraordinary. Next time one of you visit Vegas, it will be to run your very own restaurant. Bloody well done. And good luck. Ah. It was so symbolic having the beautiful view of the strip because, you know, it's just that close, you know, it's just within reach for one of us to be there. I've got one little surprise left for you both. I personally just want to um, invite both of you to New York City to come um, as my guests and experience my chef's table and eat uh, in my kitchen at the restaurant Gordon Ramsay at the New London NYC oh and to come and spend a few days in the Big Apple. Wow, you know, I've only been to a couple of chef's tables in my life, but to go to Gordon Ramsay's at the London, really, really cool. May the best chef win. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. With 20 hours before the newly remodeled restaurants open their doors, the two finalists return to Hell's Kitchen and share their final meal together. So I guess tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is the big day. I'm on the eve of, you know, possibly the biggest day of my entire life. I don't want to walk away tomorrow the loser. I really don't. This was not easy at no. all. This was hard. This has really been a changing experience for me. This is the biggest moment in my career. I have to win. I feel like I've already won. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I always have known what I'm capable of, but sometimes you doubt yourself. You got that killer in you, but you don't know how to finish. It's not hard, Brock. I think Rock's just trying to shake me up. He's trying to use psychological warfare, but I've prepared as much as I can prepare for this. I don't waste my time with stuff like that because it's anyone's game. We're neck and neck at this point. Who's the last supper? Who's Jesus and who's Judas? It's the final day in Hell's Kitchen, and Rock and Bonnie are awaiting the biggest test of their lives. Yeah! The last six eliminated chefs have returned. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, I was happy to see those people come to the door. I thought that some people might have animosity or, you know, have an attitude, but it was it was good to see them. The bad news is I'm here with Bonnie, but <laughs> I know. We've been like seriously just driving each other crazy. I can only I'm imagine. Sure. <laughs> I'm surprised that uh, Rock and Bonnie are the final two. I'm upset that I didn't make it, but I want Rock to win this thing. I missed you so much. Ah, oh, Jen has been my buddy throughout this whole competition. Oh, my. Mm. We've been through so much together. She's such a sweetheart. I love Bonnie. I do. She's such a good person, and we were just like two peas in a pod, you know? <laughs> Did you guys check out your little gift baskets we got you? Yeah. Olive oil. But it's not a happy reunion for everyone. <laughs> you all right, Jules? Yeah, you okay? Julia just left a few days ago, so I think it's hurting her to be back here and see how close she was. I don't think she's sulking or like being a sore loser. She's just disappointed in herself. Somebody say something to Julia. <sighs> I just regret that I didn't win. I came here to win. Um, I don't know what everybody else's motive was, but mine was to win. Julia really thought she was going to be in the final two. And seeing me there, I think it's just a little hard for her. Uh, trying to get her to gather it. Hello? Morning. I'm glad to see you and all your friends in the kitchen straight away, please. OK. Hey, guys, we got to go. Oh, OK. No, no, we got to go. We got to go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. 
Thank nice you. Chef. Bonnie. No, Chef. How are you feeling this morning? Feel good, Chef. Big day today. Huge day, Chef. Really <laughs> big day today. Yeah? Yep. Julia. Talk to me, darling. I'm OK. You sure? Mm-hmm. Good to see you again. You too. High points, low points? Mainly the whole thing was a high point for me. Low point is right now. It's good to see you back. I really mean that. We have had some memories. Huh? Some good, some bad. Josh. Yes, Chef. How are you feeling? Feel fine, Chef. Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Fucking useless sack of shit! Get out! Vinny. What is that? Dry. Fuck off, will you? Is that you giving up now? Jen. Hi, Chef. We have an outright winner, Jen. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Brad. Yes, Chef. How are you feeling? I feel great. Today is about consistency. Brad. Yes, Chef. Are you consistently shit? No, Chef. Melissa. I know what your game is. No, I was. Oh, fuck me. No, oh, fuck I me. swear to God. Fuck this off. It's not true. Julia, the hero of the Alhambra high school lunch is Julia! <laughs> Bonnie, you won the challenge in Vegas. I did, Chef. You get to pick the first member of your team. Make your first pick. My first choice is Jen. Jen, lovely. I have Bonnie's back. I know that she's stressing out right now, but... I will not let her fall. OK, Rock, your first selection for your team. My first selection? Brad. I automatically was going to choose Brad. He's the strongest over there. OK, Bonnie, second choice is who? Um, Melissa. Melissa. I picked Melissa over Julia. I was just a little nervous with the fact that she was so upset that her emotions were going to get in the way today. Rock, second choice is who, please? Mm. Second choice is Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. Directed in the right way, Vinny's a good soldier. High stress situations with Ramsey yelling. He doesn't perform that well. But I'm a good director. I work with it. Very, very interesting indeed. OK, Bonnie, final selection. Who is it? Uh, my final selection is Julia. Julia. I want my girls back. Good. On a personal level, I would have to say that I'm rooting for Rock. Julia, I think, is better than Josh. Might as well. But. Who knows how her emotions are going to play out? I don't want to be dealing with that tonight. Josh is not going to cry. Rock and Bonnie, um, this time now is critical. Take your teams back to the dorms. Go through your menu, get your team up to speed with, quite frankly, the most important service of your entire lives. Battle of the Sexes continues, and you know what? The girls kicked ass every time. The boys don't work together as well as the girls do, so I think I have an extra added advantage now. And I don't know if Rock's realized that yet. I'll do anything to win. Micromanaging, being an asshole, being nice, you know, whatever. I'll do it. I need to win. OK. Off you go. Thank you. 